Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be driving in Savlamar. We are going to be driving on some back roads in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. We are going to be starting at the top of Hudson Street. Savlamar people, if you know the areas that we are driving to, drop a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> yeah man, Savlamar people, big up on yourself. Westmoreland people, big up on yourself. Now, first, let me thank you for the outpouring of support and condolences with the passing of my mother. Truth be told, I am stronger than I thought. You know, I always dreaded the day when I would say goodbye to my mom. And yes, I was a mama's boy. <laughs> yeah, man. No shame in my game. Mama, sleep in eternal peace. Yeah, man, we'll meet again. Now, can you imagine this? Just imagine this for a moment. A man, well, his girlfriend is in the Sablamar Public Hospital. She's waiting to have a baby. So, her baby father, he went to his girlfriend's favorite fast food restaurant in Sablamar. And he bought her a burger or a sandwich. He went back to the hospital and handed her this sandwich or burger that he bought for her. Now, she started to eat it. And guess what? Now, let me pause and warn you that what you're about to see, it may upset your stomach. If you don't want to see it or hear about it, please Fast forward the video for about 20 seconds. Have you done so as yet? Okay, well if you are still here watching, it means you are okay with what I'm about to show you. Now, take a look at this. Did you see? What was in the burger? You didn't see it? Well, here is a photograph. Are you seeing it now? These are allegations, you know. <laughs> we were not there. We were told something and we were sent the video and the photograph. Well, that was sent in to us by one of our subscribers. He told us that his girlfriend was eating the burger. When she saw what she saw. He's saying that she immediately lost her breath. Because she's afraid of those kind of stuff. Since then. There has been all kind of complications. For the mother and the baby. She gave birth to the baby last week. Monday night. The complications. Is due to the fact that at one stage. The baby boy. Wasn't getting any oxygen. Remember we told you that the mother. She lost her breath for a while. And when I say complication, it's a whole lot. So I won't even begin to start naming them. Now, this young man, he reported that he went back to the fast food restaurant in Savlamar. And he was told to call the head office. He said he has been calling the head office ever since. And all they are doing is putting him on hold and giving him all kind of runaround. Hear me now, young man. Hear me now. You don't have to call the head office. In fact, let me tell you something. Let me give you an advice. Nobody has to call the head office because you will never ever get anybody at the head office coming onto the phone and accepting any liability for this. Remember me tell you that. They will never ever come on the phone and tell you that. They are wrong. So if at that year wait pan, you are not going to get it. Let me advise you what you should do. What you should do is talk to a lawyer. There are many lawyers in Savlamar. The lawyer is not going to call the head office. You know. What the lawyer will be doing is writing them a letter. And don't worry about money. Because if the case is good, most lawyers, they will act and get their pay when your baby mother is paid. Ensure that you keep 
all your evidence and go and talk to a lawyer. That is the only way you or your baby mother is going to get any justice. So nobody make no phone call. No go to no restaurant and go quarrel with nobody. Just do what you have to do. Do what I tell you and talk to a lawyer. Many of them in SAP. Go and talk to one of them. Now, Shimpy. Or anybody who know a man named Shimpy. Shimpy is living at 41 Rosites in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Shimpy, somebody sent us a message that some guys are planning to kill you. You hear that, Shimpy? The person don't want to tell you themselves, you know. So they are asking us to tell you. For obvious reasons. The person said that they were at a particular place in Rosites. And that person is saying, they know of the planning. Shimpy, you are warned. I don't know what you are involved in or what these guys are claiming you are involved in. But ensure that you do what you must to protect yourself. They are planning to kill you. Alright? Now, we told you about an incident that took place at retreat in the Little London Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. This incident, it took place Saturday night, March 19, 2022, about 7 o'clock. We are told that a man, he was shot and killed in a bar. Reports are that this man, he was in the bar when a motorcycle rode up and stopped at the bar with two hoodlums aboard. The Pelian, he got off the motorcycle and entered the bar. It is said that he brandished a gun and opened gunfire at the man. Who was in the bar? We told you that this man is known as Rasta. Rasta was killed on the spot. The hoodlums then made good their escape on the said motorcycle. We had promised you that we would be updating the story as soon as we get the correct name for Rasta. Well, we haven't only gotten the name for Rasta or the correct name for Rasta. We also got those two photographs that you are seeing on your screen. Now, that man, his name is Fenton Griffiths. Fenton Griffiths, he was born on February 17, 1984. We are told that he's a past student of the Moshet High School in the parish of Chilani. We are also told that he was living in the parish of St. Elizabeth at one stage, but he was now living in the parish of Westmoreland for a few years now. Fenton Griffiths, also known as Rasta, he was clearly targeted by these hoodlums. They were apparently called by someone who knew that Rasta was at the bar. So they rode up and they shot him dead. Now, in this next incident, it took place yesterday afternoon. Sunday, March 20, 2022, like we said, in the afternoon. It took place at May Day. Now, May Day is in the Mandeville Police area in the parish of Manchester. Our information is that a man, you are now seeing photographs of him on your screen. That man, his name is Javel Diaz or Diaz. His first name is spelled J A V E L and his last name D I A S. Now, Javel, he would be celebrating his 27th birthday today. He was born March 21st, 1995. It is said that Javel, he lived at Mayday District in Manchester. We are told that Javel, he was at his home sleeping when at least three men came to his gate and called him. It is said that someone woke up Javel. Now Javel, he got up and picked up his six-month-old son who was in the house. He went out and spoke to the men. They spoke for a while and we are told that Javel, he went back inside the house and put down his son. Apparently, they had planned to go somewhere. But, <laughs> Javel's friend killers had other ideas. So as Javel went back outside, bam, 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 his so-called friends shot him, then left. Javel, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced 
D-E-A-D. Our information is that this friend killing has money, scamming, and greed written all over it. Yeah, man. Javel own a friend. They killed him over money. <laughs> now, <laughs> before we move on to the last story, must I ask you? All right, so let me ask you something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? <laughs> Have you hit on the like button as yet? Why, wow, the story is them too interesting? Eh? All right. Pause. Take a break. And if you can, because we know, you know, some of you watch it on TV and some of you log in from Facebook, so you're unable to. But if you can, just hit on the like button. As also, if you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. We are now almost at 82,000 subscribers. We are growing, so grow with us. Ensure that you tell a friend to tell a friend. Later on today, we are planning on carrying the birthday and anniversary greeting for Saturday, yesterday, and today. Yeah, man, we are going to fulfill that. We are going to be carrying those greetings on PNL Vlogs TV. So if you have not yet subscribed to that channel, ensure that you go over there and subscribe. You know what that man Saturday? It kind of slows down, you know. Yeah, man, it slows down. But we are keep on keeping on. Because, Mama, if you know her, she would want us to continue doing what we have to do. She was a hard worker. Yeah, man, she believed in working. <laughs> so, we are keep on keeping on. And we are holding up. Once again, thanks for the support. Yeah, man. Really appreciate it. Now, in the final story for today, and this one is oh so interesting. You're going to want to listen straight to the end. Yeah, man. Remember me tell you. Now, that man that you're seeing on your screen, his name is Ainsley Woodburn. He was popularly known as Shartman. Now, Shartman, he was 32 years old and he lived at a place named Belfont in the parish of St. James. Belfont is near to the border of Westmoreland and St. James, way up in the hills. Now, Shartman, he was in custody at the Freeport Police lockup. He was facing six murder charges. So like we had said in a previous video, Shartman, whilst he was out on the street, or even whilst he was in prison or in jail, he was a chopper. He was a scammer. He used to make a lot of money from the illicit activity. But like we have seen over and over again in the scamming, the love of money, greed, and envy normally result in one word, mayhem. So, between 2018 and 2019, or sometime before that, short man, he was out of road. Like most scammers, he was in the game with some friends. He had some friends around him. They are dialing and making a little money here and a little money there. Now, one day, it is said that short man, he been good big time. One of the guys around him met a client and he gave that client to short man because short man was a better chopper. So short man bingo and he eat a decent piece of food. Are you following me? Or should I use <laughs> less Jamaican slang? Okay. So it is said that short man, he won this camera's lottery and was paid handsomely for his winnings. You follow me now? <laughs> yeah, man. Follow me, follow me, follow me. So at least two of these guys who were around short man, they felt slighted after short man collected a large sum of money. Shartman gave them some money, but they thought they should be given a whole more. It is said that they felt deceived. They felt betrayed and they felt robbed. Even though the money was gained through illicit means. So, the two guys, they broke into Shartman's house and stole a vault. Remember that they used to be at Shartman's house, so they would have known where Shartman hide his money and other stuff. 
Now, this vault that they stole, it is said that it contained a large amount of cash and important documents to include car and land papers because Chapman was spending money. He was buying cars, he was buying lands, etc. From the day these guys broke into the house and stole the vault, all hell broke loose. The mayhem started right there. So, Sharpman, I'm going to tell you about the six people that Sharpman killed. I did a video about this before, so I'm not going to give you details. I'm just going to give you the names. The first guy that Sharpman and his cronies killed was a guy named Orion Lawrence. That is Orion on your screen. He was popularly known as Farty. He was killed on August 31. 2019, like we said, by Sharpman and his cronies. The very next day, no, Orion Lawrence, you know, he wasn't involved in the stealing of the vault from Sharpman's house, but he was related to at least one of the guys who was involved. So, you know, it's a family involved in this thing now. Sharpman killed the family. So, you know what happened the next day? Some guys associated to Farty, they went and they killed Sharpman's father the very next day september 1 2019 they shot and killed him in the night but he was not found until the next day september 2 the said evening of august 2 sharpman and some other guys they went to a lady's house this lady is also related to one of the guys so they fired a barrage of gunshots into that house luckily the lady or anybody else in the house they were not hit so you know, say where I go on now. Chapman, him decided that why them kill my father, you know. People are go dead. So Chapman would have killed one already. Orion Lawrence, popularly known as Party. On September 25th, 2019, Chapman strike again. That man that you're seeing on your screen, his name is Bertland Bennett. He's popularly known as Fire. He was 54 years old. He was shot and killed by Sharpman and his cronies. Sharpman's next victim was a man known as Greybeard. We don't have any photograph of Greybeard. So Sharpman would have gone three already. There are three that persons could identify and say a Sharpman do that. His next victim was that man on your screen. His name is Andre O'Shane Downer. He was popularly known as Blacks. Blacks? He was 29 years old at the time he was shot and killed by Sharpman. None of these persons who were killed, you know. <laughs> they are not any of the guys who went to the Sharpman's house, you know. They are just associated with the guys. The next man that Sharpman killed was that man that you're seeing on your screen. His name is Herbert Spencer. He was popularly known as Papi Dread. So Sharpman gone five already. The sixth person that Sharpman killed was that man on your screen. Sharpman killed this man in front of many, many people. His name is Christopher Frey. He was popularly known as Chris. And Chris, he was Sharpman's cousin. You know why Sharpman killed him? Sharpman accused him of being an informer. While Sharpman was on the run, he was hiding at a place named Hopewell in Hanover with one of his brothers. Chris used to be their conduit. Sharpman used to send him out and he would carry things go give Sharpman where they were hiding. When police went and raided the house, Sharpman escaped but the police held Sharpman's brother. So Sharpman, he was of the view that only Chris could have given the police the information. So Sharpman ended up killing him. So, Sharpman, he was on the run for a while. Many raids were carried out, but the police, they were unsuccessful. They didn't find him. And if they make off of him, he may escape. In October 2020, Sharpman, he was eventually held by the police during a raid in the parish of St. Anne. He was taken back to Montego Bay, where he was charged for six counts of murder, shooting with intent, as also wounding with intent, amongst other charges. He has been going to court ever since and was remanded in custody by the courts. But on Saturday, October 23, 
2021. Sometime after 5.30 in the early morning, prisoners being housed at the Freeport lockup in Montego Bay. They were let out to go and have their morning showers. They were let back in, but Sharpman and another prisoner, they could not be accounted for. Checks were made and they were not seen. Our information is that a door that leads to the annex. At the station, it was seen open. Now, it is suspected that a police officer or police officers might have left the door open, allowing Sharpman and the other prisoner to escape. Why do I say that? Our information and the police force, they are still carrying out investigation. Our information is that Sharpman and his associates they had offered police officers the sum of 15 million Jamaican dollars to assist him to escape. So the suspicion is that they get to at least one or two officers who were willing to take that money. So Sharpman, he escaped and was now on the street. He was placed on the St. James Police most wanted list. There were rumors circulating that he had fled the island by boat, but this wasn't so. We are also aware that the police, they had set up many dragnets to hold Sharpman, but he escaped those dragnets. But yesterday, Sunday, March 20, 2022, three years after Sharpman's reign of terror began, his luck ran out. We are told that about 3.45 p.m., the Central Police they were on patrol at a place named Dunbarton in the parish of St. Anne. It is said that they saw a man at an apartment building. This man, on seeing the police, it is said that he began acting in a suspicious manner. He was approached by the police and it is said that he brandished a gun and pointed it at the police. Bam, 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 bam! Sharp man, he picked up corns and fell to the ground with the weapon. Now, this weapon, it was retrieved by the police and it was found to be a Glock 17 pistol with seven rounds of 9mm cartridges. The man who was put down, he turned out to be the elusive Ainsley Woodburn, popularly known as Sharpman. So the first time that he was held in St. Anne, he surrendered to the police peacefully. This time around, he decided to put up a fight. A fight that he couldn't win. Short man, he played foolish games and was justly rewarded with foolish prizes. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Shine out.